What's going on YouTube? Jay down here hanging out at Mad Vapes in Knoxville. Got a couple things to cover. Uh, today we're going to talk about more about different kinds of wire. Uh, start off, we're going to go over Canthal, which is the pretty most basic type of wire out there that people use now. Um, it's not that low of resistance, more for like beginners, people who are just getting into it or just, you know, just want to throw some bills together. Uh, can't go to any sort of vape shop, you're going to more than likely end up running into some of this. It doesn't ohm out really low, like some people would like want to build like say a .08 or something like that. You may end up getting with this Canthal, I mean you can run 18 gauge, which is really thick wire. Um, I might have to find us like a special RDA or something with really big post holes to run that in. But you can always run that option. But the ramp up time on it, it's, like I said, it's more for beginners and basics. Um, just for like basic builds. Uh, now this is something more along the lines that I use all the time. This is my go-to wire, which is a Nichrome 80. Obviously not 24 gauge, but uh, I run more of a Nichrome 20 gauge, five wraps around the three and a half, point zero nine, point one, you know, in that ballpark. Uh, that's what I usually run. It's simple, easy, like Canthal, but it ramps up just a little bit more quicker because it's got more of a lower resistance type of like compounds inside of it. So. This is what I always use. That's what I'm actually got in my able right now. Nichrome 80, five wraps, around a three and a half. See, she chucks. So that's my that's my go-to wire is Nichrome 80, 20 gauge. Now some of this you may find in some shops probably more than likely most of them but maybe one or two may not carry it but this is a uh, pre-made Clapton on a spool this is a 36 gauge Canthal with uh, the 26 nichrome for the inner core you can find these in all sorts of different kinds of gauges not just but most of them are going to be you know rather relatively thin because can't uh, Claptons are meant for more flavor um, so this that's kind of why they usually use like smaller gauge wire for the amount is not so so low where it's gonna be a warm vape but not so high where you ain't gonna have much of a ramp up and you know not be able to chuck clouds people still like flavor like chucking clouds so this is what you could use Claptons I do. I, I make some of my own Clapton. Some of them oh, out a little bit lower, so I still get a little bit more of my flavor, but still chuck clouds. Now this is more of the uh, kind of like a specialty wire. This is more for uh, people who use temperature control and you know just enhance their flavor and what they kind of want. This is a uh, titanium and nickel. They um, they're more they're a. Uh, no resistant wire, meaning that they ohm out super low and that, you know, they come in really thin gauges for the sole purpose of having to wrap so many more times to come out to a more higher ohm. Because you do this probably about five wraps around a three and a half like you did with the other with the, the Nichrome, you're, it's going to be really low and I really don't recommend doing that. But, um, yeah, nickel and titanium, more for, you know, temperature control. Not a whole lot of people kind of get into their whole, the whole building their own coils for temperature control, but there's some people out there that may do it, some people don't. I don't. I'm, not, I'm never really got into temperature control because I like, I like chucking clouds, obviously. But now this is something that, or for those big time cloud chasers like I, and most of you guys out there, this is some of my favorite. This is just one of the premium brands. It's a, this is Mad Rabbit. It is a specialty comp wire. It ohms out really low. And this for those like just people who just like to build 0 .08 points, excuse me, 0 .07, around in that ballpark. And this is something that some of those big time cloud chasers use. Something along these lines. I mean, there's not just Mad Rabbit. There's Mad Rabbit. There's 
uh, atomic wire, um, hot wires, stuff like that. And but this is a, I'm not too sure on the compounds of this Mad Rabbit, but I do believe it's some something like uh, nichrome and ninety, and some some other sort of mixture. But it, this is for you know once you get up there and you're comfortable building your own RDAs and you want to go out there and cloud chase and you get really comfortable with it and you just want to explore your surround explore more things into getting producing more clouds get to chucking more uh yeah get to chucking more clouds and to get somewhere in the cloud comps like i was at that one, one point in my time i was only using canthal and i was like why am i get why ain't i getting any sort of you know more cloud production like say my friend was and he was like oh well i'm using you know nichrome or i'm using mad rabbit and so once you get more comfortable with building on your own rdas and familiar with your tubes and the battery safety then that's where I would recommend, you know, once you get comfortable, invest in something like Mad Rabbit or Atomic Wires. But that's really it for you guys. Just wanted to go over some of the different types of wires. But I'm going to hop off here. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.